I'm saying DNA, DNA, the heart and soul, the body and mind. This is the first time that I ever used a um, a prop, shall we say? But this this the issue right now is so important, and I'm glad the district attorney is here because he should really hear this, and all of these policemen too. But first of all, we're on the consent agenda, which means we're going to vote on a whole bunch of things all at once, with or without discussion, who knows what. But there's one item on, and I'm not speaking for or against it, there's an item on there that says they're going to spend, uh, agree to spend $2,800,000. That's a lot of money to some people, maybe not to the mayor, I don't know. But they're going to vote, she said, yeah, not in her head. She, they're going to vote to, to buy 30 vehicles. Now, check out your mathematics back there, ladies and gentlemen. That comes out to, and I'm not for or against it, that comes out to $93,000 per vehicle. Now, I don't know what these vehicles are, but that seems like that seems like a lot of money, but nobody else cares. Get only Sam, the only guy, speaking for 400,000 people in this community because nobody else looks at these things. All right, the next item is, you're good. I, was, I, I have to speak on this because I was the driving force that brought medical marijuana and eventually regular marijuana to Reno. I was the, or certainly a driving force because every time it was on the agenda, they pushed it off and I finally said, look at people are sick or dying, it's legal, let's do it. The next week, it was on the agenda and finally the licensing went through. So I was responsible for ordering them to follow my directives and they did, thank you. You're welcome, Sam. Like it says on my card right up there. But anyway, I'm, um, I'm finding out things that I did not know that really should be looked at. People think of marijuana and puffing the marijuana cigarette, and I don't use marijuana. I'm satisfied with good old tequila. But anyway, people puffing on a cigarette, on a marijuana cigarette, that's what you think of, right? A bong, whatever those things are called. Now they got candy. They got candy. Now if somebody wants to use marijuana, they're just going to go out and get some marijuana. Why do they have to be propagandized into buying marijuana? So take a look at this thing they call Edible candy marijuana. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That I don't want to be too diabolical about it, but that is really, really, really nasty packaging. This thing, that, that package of candy right there that looks like gummy bears inside should have to be put into a safe with a lock on it. This should there should not even be this should not even be allowed. There should be no propagandization. The, uh, the mother and father would have a puff and tour, and then the next thing you know, they got this marijuana laying around there and they go to sleep and the kids find it, a kid could die. There's 10 of those things that a kid could die from that, or even a grown-up. Here's what the packaging, and we'll leave it to Sam to have the brains to do it. Here's what the packaging should look like. You don't need, you don't need anybody to brainwash you into getting the marijuana. It should just plain and blatant. Kid's not going to worry about that. You see this thing there? And bam. Everybody's laughing because I misspelled. All I can think of is that misspelled and closed. He wanted to say something. That was on purpose because that was that was written by that was drawn up by somebody who'd already been using marijuana that day. Any, there I must have, be a question, a comment. I have no Next further general public comment. Did I make any sense to anybody except me? I have Sam. Sam. Okay. Be nice or else. I'm the hell or else part. Okay. All right. You read her book called Be Nice or Else. All right. That's it. I'm the or else part. Senator, I have no further comment on the.